Pat Love here with Pat's Two Cents. One of my regular viewers, a subscriber, a longtime subscriber, who has shared his dreams with us in the past. His name is Anthony, and I'm going to share his dream. I will be partly reading and partly just ad-libbing so that it flows. You know how I do that. Now, this is an end time dream. I believe it has some warnings in it, some scary moments, and it seems to be during the time of Hillary and what's the other guy's name? Donald Trump. Check this out. I was in the city of New York and I was with my friends. I remember heading home. I can't remember how I got home, but anyway, when I got there, I was watching TV, watching the news. Then I saw Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and saw that they were in Manhattan. Then all of a sudden, something strange happened in Manhattan. So I stepped out of my apartment to check it out. I wanted to see what was going on. Well, all I remember in that dream was men, plenty of them, dressed in black. They were in black uniform, like the SWAT team. They were taking people away. Well, I ran down the street to the subway station. I wanted to catch a train and get out of there. <laughs> I saw a few people. They were, it was just a few on that train. They were so scared. I can't remember what I said to them, but I do remember this. Getting off the train and telling them to stay with me. I also remember seeing people line up for FEMA camps. They were shoving those people inside the building, and it was pretty scary, might I add. We were hiding from them. It was like we were the target, or we were some type of a, of a victim. Well, I don't know. It's like something bad was going to happen to us intentionally. Well, I remember seeing my friends. They were also packed in there as well. Oh, yeah. By the way, the men in black, they looked like robots. Their eyes were changing color, and they seemed to be getting darker and darker. They spotted, they spotted us. We were watching them. They spotted us. So we ran toward, they ran towards us. So we had to run towards the train station. None of them, none of the people that were with me, I don't know what happened to them, but I was the only one that made it. That's what I remember about that dream. Now, that sounds scary because seeing Hillary and Donald Trump means it happened during a close time of the present. It seemed like it was somewhere between now and the election or right after the election. I don't know. But that is really bizarre that something like that would happen almost in this time period. So we need to pray for this country, you guys. We need to pray that God stay his judgment, that he hold it back, he delays it, that he minimizes it. Because, listen, many of us have suffered. Many of us, poor, uh, needy, uh, abused, uh, orphans, childless, single, married, old, sick, feeble, whatever, broke, busted, and disgusted. Many of us have had really seriously hard times. But let me tell you, the times may get so hard that many will commit suicide. And I rebuke that spirit of suicide in the name of Jesus. We have to trust God. We have to turn to God now. While it is today, while he can be found, we have to turn to God. Because we don't know what's, what's hiding, what's lurking in the darkness, what's lurking behind the plans, the best laid plans of evil mice and men. We just don't know what the plans are. And the sad part is it's usually the poor and the broke, the sick, the feeble that suffer the most. So what I 
I've prayed. I have asked God. And I ask you to do the same. Ask God to bring the judgment right down on the people who are perpetrating this stuff on the people who are instigating problems and crimes and riots and killings. Those are the people who have the money to sway people's minds through the media to harm each other. They are the ones that need to be judged. The ones who are selling this country down the river, they are the ones who need to be judged. And that God would raise up and lift up, protect and bless those of us who have no voice. Pray to God. Pray to God in the name of Jesus that he will help us, that he will help you and me. We all are going to need it, you guys. We're going to have to turn to God in ways we never did before. Start now. Get into good practice. Don't just go to him when you need him. Start now. Develop a deeper relationship with him. This is why. When you read his word, when you talk to him more frequently, and you wait in prayer, worship, sing to him, listen to see if he's got something to say to you. What ends up happening with that is the bonding gets deeper and deeper. And just like a married couple, sometimes a husband or a wife can sense when something's wrong with their spouse because they, they have that connection. Well, God can warn us if something's wrong. He can also give us instruction. Remember I told you about the time when I was walking down the street in the middle of the night and I saw some guys I didn't know over on one side of the street and they were young. So I went on the other side just to make sure I didn't tempt fate. And I heard a voice say, cross over to the other side. Well, that was God's voice. And I hesitated and I argued with the voice. And then it said, cross over to the other side. Cross over to the other side now. And I, I just went at that point. Well, when you have a connection with God, God can protect you. God was protecting me from an attack from a dog. When I got on the side where the guys were, they were minding their business. They weren't trying to start any trouble. But there was a dog that was, and I didn't see that dog. Had I made two more steps, I would have been mincemeat. That was a big, burly dog. And he was glaring at me with his tongue straight. I mean, with his tongue, with his tail straight out. He was not coming out to play. God protected me. God can protect you and me from all of this mess that's getting ready to stir up. He can tell us where to go, when, where not to go, and when. But you have to have an ear. And you won't have an ear if you're never communicating with him. Communicate with God. Please communicate with him. That's our safety. That is your only safety. God bless you.